Bro, you raw hey, dogging. Hey. You raw dogging, right? Huh? No. Huh? <laughs> if he can hunt, he, he can like, hear. Wait, yeah, the counterfeit. <laughs> I'm the only one that's. Oh, no, I ain't I'm, running around raw dog, dog, but I'm just saying. No, 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 I ain't chopping up. Whoa, 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 I ain't no cat and dog. Fertile. Me too. I'm fertile too. Hold on, what happened? What happened? I said, I'm about to stop. What happened? I'm fertile too, Bruiser. Oh, oh. <laughs> you said you fertile? Yeah, we gotta stop using that word for dudes. It doesn't apply. I don't. I don't y'all do know that you can get it reversed if you wanted to. Exactly. That. That's why I'm like fertile is yeah, not. Yeah, man. Word. I'm telling you, man. It's it's a beautiful feeling. You get married, Mister Lego. You gonna get it reversed? What's a beautiful? <laughs> no, I'm I'm dead. I'm dead I told serious. You. I, told you. Uh, Ali, I want you to think about this. How many? Um, <laughs> situations or relationships or whatever have you been in where you just like when was like your that. period you know what i'm saying you, you yeah. just start thinking about is your period late or either it, there's a breakup or something right and then y'all was raw dogging and you're like yo <laughs> the last thing i ever need is for this chick to be pregnant and we ain't in together no more you know what i'm saying so it's so many situations where you never have to worry that that little shit in the back of your mind. Where you just like, yo, what if? There's no what if. Peace. You you get a level of peace. You know what I'm saying? Because when you out here raw dogging, sometimes not all the time. Hey, you gotta have that thought in your mind. Like, damn, I hope she ain't pregnant. Damn, I didn't do this. I didn't. Man, you admit get that. that you be having unprotected sex as a therapist. Uh oh. Oh, man. Uh, yes, I have had unprotected sex. I was in a relationship, but n after the relationship, no. So when you're in a relationship with somebody, y'all do realize that protection is not. Y'all do realize that protection is not just for kids. It's so that you don't get no STIs, right? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Because I'm just trying to figure out what, when, when did we forget that part of the conversation too? Y'all just, <laughs> bro, I'm just answering the question that I I'm was. Not, I'm not talking about as it relates to you, Mister Let Go. I'm just talking about <laughs> as it relates to how we communicate and in general. You supposed to use protection also, like Jesus Christ. I got some for you. Stay right there. All I'm With saying my is that feeling that you don't have to have anymore. <laughs> It's the most beautiful feeling in the world. Listen, man, why are we dancing around the conversation like dudes actually want to wear condoms? All right. True. That is not it's not natural at all. Women. So I don't even want to make women don't even like them. Men don't like them. Very few people use them after a certain part in their adulthood. They can't wait to take it off. You know what I mean? It's yeah, not but natural. You know what else is not natural? Getting these crazy bumps on your. Uh... <laughs> right. You're right. Well, no, it is not. Especially, especially in Atlanta. <laughs> especially in Atlanta. You know what else is not natural? Getting skinny be for no reason. <laughs> yeah. got, Getting a ninja. Because you, you got AIDS. That's what's not natural. I ain't got those problems. But no, I'm just I saying, see. like, listen. <laughs> listen, we live in unnatural times. We have men walking around as women. We have, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, if you're going to do it, Please, for the sake of God, Jesus <laughs> Christ, please do not bring any critters home. Like, um, just strap up, homie. Yeah. Jesus. I don't know how we got this far off topic, but um, guys, man, y'all y'all out here playing Russian roulette. Like, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm being, you know, look, 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 I'm just being real because I'm like all these people talking about wrap it up. Like, you know I said, he ain't pulling keep, out either. Look, 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 you gotta keep your credibility. Remember what I said? I married the woman I got pregnant, right? But all these moms talk about you better be wrapping it up, boy. And they son looking at them like, girl, you got two baby daddies. What the hell are you talking about? People be losing their credibility quick as shit out here. But Trigger Mike, I can only speak for myself. I ain't had a child in 20 some years. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, here's, the, here's, the question. For the record. here's the question that I want y'all to take a lie detector test on. How many of y'all had an STD or an STI in y'all lifetime? Ooh. Never. I'll say quick. Ain't, I can do a lot. Never. You can take Ooh. it first that time, have you? 
Okay, if you went no, to an HBCU, no you, you went to college, don't lie. Just plead the fifth. So, Trigger Mike, basically you, you, had. you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't cross that threshold, right? Uh-oh. No. <laughs> you uh -oh. talk too much. You talk too much, Trigger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yo. He was in the military. Hold on, my kid, my kids right are calling me. I'll be right. Ali, Ali, do you have children? Yes, one. Are you married to the to the mom? No. Oh. Oh. That's all bruiser. That is bruiser. I know that, that is, is bruiser. I know that's bruiser. That is a hundred percent. This is Jr. Yo, that is bruiser. Bruiser, this your uh thing right here. But is being a good man enough? I'm going to play this clip. <laughs> a woman can talk her out of a relationship. You can talk. We we do that. Yes, we but will talk. I, I, our I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say something, and this mm -hmm. might ruffle little feathers. I don't think just being a good man is enough <laughs> to be to stay in okay. a relationship with them. But when I say a good man, I mean like he's I don't, good all. That means all around. That means himself spiritually mentally physically that's great healthily, like but he's a good man that doesn't mean that he's the man for you and right. maybe when you're going through these motions of getting to know him you're realizing okay he's a great person but honestly he don't he i don't fuck with his humor like he could be funny but and he's that's, not funny and that's why a lot of modern or, women are getting 40 with 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 four cats and no man because He's, Maybe that's what he's they a like. good he's a good man, but because he's not I funny, like between you gotta right you gotta throw that out. All right, here we go. Is being a good man enough? Go ahead, balance. Start with you first. That's funny. Um, so because my name is Balance, of course we gotta have balance to it. There are women and men that are too picky. They're too picky, and that's why they're single. They want to nitpick every single thing. I don't know if you guys remember that show Seinfeld. He that was one of my favorite shows, but he would cancel women out because he didn't like their name. He didn't like their toes. He didn't like the way they spoke. He didn't like the way they laughed. It was always something. And he's nitpicked and was like, nah, I can't be with her. Like, no, it's just I don't like the way she laughs. I don't like the way she wore her hair that day. So the men and women do that alike. They're too picky. But I say balance because you don't want to just go for anybody. If you don't have chemistry with this person and you expect it to last a lifetime, you're being unrealistic. And that's why we have so many divorces is because these people weren't realistic. Like you have to think about what you like, what you want long term, not just in the moment. They were thinking about, oh, we have all this great sexual chemistry today. Let's get married. But you don't share the same values. You don't you don't want the same things long term. Like you don't think the same and it never works out. You know, you're not the same religion. I don't care what it is. It, it, you don't, you're not the same with how you want to spend money. One person wants to spend all of it. The other person wants to save all of it. And you wonder why you're divorced. You guys were never compatible from the beginning. You both may be really good people. There's a lot of good people, but you're not compatible. So I think people really need to have that balance. Don't be too picky where you're nitpicking everything, but don't just be like, oh, we have great, sexual chemistry and we're both good people and we both got good jobs let's get married because those people are the ones who end up divorced